my name's Kurt Dimes. I live in Brattleboro. I am running for the town grand juror. The town grand juror, Roland, you would be forgiven if you didn't know. It's a position that well, has... I had to do my research to... <laughs> <laughs> it's had no, and people don't hear about it, um, it's a position whose uh, powers have been uh, subsumed in the past centuries by the, um, the district attorneys uh, because um, laws have become very consistent from town to town. Uh, the town grand juror is the uh, attorney general for that particular town and is um, charged mostly with um, um, enforcing the laws of that town. Uh, there's a, um, um, our charter, the town charter, Brattleboro says, uh, I think I've got it pretty much memorized by now, the town grand juror has the same powers in the town as the attorney general has within the state and the district attorney uh, within the county. So he's the chief prosecut prosecutorial officer. He's not, in the way we use the word nowadays, a juror on a jury. He's the one who impanels the jury. He's the, the, the bad DA for the town. And uh, my job will be to uh, enforce the, the laws of the town. Um, I hope I don't have to get uh, mean about anything uh, in, in town, um, but we have a couple of things that people in Brattleboro are very worked up about. Uh, one of them is uh, Vermont Yankee. I hope to be able to use the powers of, ten of the grand juror uh, to uh, help close that nuclear power plant. The other thing, uh, it's very much been a, a matter of concern all over the country and all over the world, uh, and that's uh, the prosecution of war crimes committed by Mr. Bush and Mr. Cheney. And um, I hope to enforce the uh, Brattleboro Town, the Brattleboro Indictment Resolution, which was passed uh, in 2008. I have uh, already have the support of a number of uh, prominent attorneys um, and uh, legal counsel to the FBI and uh, a former military prosecutor, uh, Bob, Bob Bowman, the former director of uh, Star Wars under, um, under Reagan, and uh, Daniel Ellsberg. Uh, they all recognize the importance of Brattleboro um, enacting its resolution. So I plan to do that. Now it's my understanding that um, when the new charter is passed, this position may not make the cut. Is that true? That it might be uh, on its way out? Yes. I think um, if I do a good enough job, uh, people will say, oh, we changed our minds about that. Now is the time. Sounds now is the time. Before, before it gets eliminated. Perhaps within a year, well, it'll be uh, maybe a year before the state legislature uh, moves on those charter revisions and then they won't be instantly enacted. Uh, I figure we have a, a year, maybe two, to draft an indictment. And then also according to the, um, to the town charter, uh, I can impose on the county district attorney and the town attorney um, to assist me. And this, uh, it sounds like, by all accounts, this position has been more or less defunct yeah. um, for, I, I don't know, the better half a century. Or... Well, at least as long as the incumbent's been, the incumbent has been in office, uh, no one's even heard of it. Yeah. Um, but, you know, Brattleboro has, people of Brattleboro are proud to uh, have their own say in things. It's also important for people to realize now, and I think it's a bit of a crisis, that free speech is not the end. Um, our government, our central government, has begun, has become so um, obdurate. So, uh, what does that mean? Obdurate means like, like a rock, you know, hard, unresponsive, does not care what the people think. And so, you know, if they don't care what you think, 
then the best thing you can do is, you know, say what you think. And, you know, at least everybody knows, right? At least we're, at least we're on record as, you know, believing this and, and supporting this and opposing the right things to, to oppose. But speech in, ter- in, in a context of uh, morality and national policy, that speech is just speech. Speech is different from action. And a resolution like something little, like you do at New Year's, is something you do to act on. It's not just something to, you know, pin on your lapel and say, okay, I, you know, I did this. It's something to act on. And uh, our, our uh, unresponsive government has made people think that that's the most they can do is free speech. Uh-uh, that's, that's where you start. So I think Brattleboro's gonna kind of move ahead and always come up with new ideas and Hopefully, this will be one that they act on. Terrific. Uh, anything else? Well, I've got you under the, the studio lights here to talk about with this uh, campaign. Well, um, there may be. I'm, I've been working with a group, a number of people in Brattleboro, on a Wall Street tax. And um, that's, that would be to um, shift some of the tax burden, the very heavy tax burden for Brattleboro residents, onto uh, the 1% people who invest in Wall Street and earn you know, $100,000 or so uh, at least off of uh, their tax investments. Uh, the stock market is not taxed at all. Its transactions amount to trillions of dollars every year. Trillions and trillions of dollars. Everybody else is taxed. You, know, you invest in real estate or coins or whatever. Uh, you're taxed. You get taxed on that. But people investing in the stock market, their transactions are not taxed. And uh, if we were to tax that just a little bit, you know, we could really uh, relieve our tax burden a bit. Um, this won't take a lot of enforcement because around Vermont, you know, the millionaires are publicly saying, hey, tax the rich. Uh, so it won't, it won't really take a whole lot to enforce. Uh, people want this kind of thing, and uh, I don't expect I'll have to use the powers of the town grand jury to enforce it. But as I'm in office, I will do whatever I can to bring that, uh, to, to make that a law. The uh, other thing that I will be doing is uh, cooperating with attorneys to find a, a road, an approach to uh, prosecuting um, the uh, executives of Vermont Yankee, of Entergy, uh, for, well, maybe for um, depraved indifference, uh, grave bodily harm. Uh, spreading radiation on people is, it's uh, not a good thing. And uh, they have been deceptive about it. So uh, charges of fraud might be involved. <laughs>